months of intensive work. That's how long Ukrainian workers need to restore energy system after the massive Russian attack on March 22nd. Officials say 151 missiles and drones were fired into Ukraine on that single day. Russia hit about 10 regions, dozens of energy facilities, main power plants and trunk substations. The attack was the worst since the start of the full-scale invasion. Ukrainian officials say the worst situation is in the frontline city of Kharkiv, where there are huge power outages. The electricity disappeared right after the attack and came back 24 hours later. We had it the whole night, and then it was turned off again. But the worst is when people die due to attacks. The infrastructure can be rebuilt. Rebuilding that infrastructure will be a long and complex process. That is the case with Ukraine's largest hydroelectric power plant. It is currently not functioning after at least seven Russian missiles hit the plant in the March 22nd attack. It will take years to restore one of the stations in the plant. The ceiling and walls have collapsed. Damaged metal and concrete structures don't give us access to the engine room on the lower floor. Electrical accessory equipment is 90% destroyed. Ukrainergo alone calculates the losses from the largest Russian attack at more than $108 million. Its CEO says the situation could be worse if they hadn't taken special protection measures around energy infrastructure targets beforehand. We have at least two levels of protection. The first level is barriers made of sandbags. The second level is specific shelters that protect from direct drone hits. But Kudryski says this protection is not enough. He, along with Ukrainian military analysts, say more air defense systems are needed. We need to cover at least the biggest cities. Ideally, there should be two surface-to-air missile systems for each. That means two for Dnipro City, two for Zaporizhia, and two for Odessa, Lviv, and Kharkiv. Top Ukrainian officials, starting with the president, have consistently made a case for continued military aid from Western allies, highlighting the urgent need for enhanced air defense systems. Russian terror is only possible now because we don't have enough modern air defense systems. In other